Mary Wong. Hi, how are you? Hey, you know, they just called me back for my ultrasound. No, I gotta go. No, I have to go. I'll talk to you back. I'll call you back. Hey, they just called me back for my ultrasound. I'll, you know, I'll call you back. Okay. All right. No, I'll pick up the kids. Okay. All right, bye. I'm sorry about that. Um, so hi, how are you? You're here for an ultrasound of the pelvic? Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to have you lay down here on this bed. You're going to, did you drink your water? You did. Okay. So I'm going to have you lay down here on the bed and, um, I'm going to just going to have you pull down your pants down just to your hips. Um, just take off my pants to my hips. Okay. No worries. Wait, before I used to have to get completely undressed. No, no, you don't have to. Are you sure? No, I'm sure. I'll get to that in a minute. You don't have to get undressed. It's not a problem? Okay. Okay, no problem. Oh, I really have to go to the bathroom, though. Like, can I go to the bathroom first? You'll go to the bathroom, then you'll come back. Let me finish explaining the exam, and then if you have any questions, you can ask me. So, after you lay down on the bed, I'm going to have you pull down your pants down to you, like your hips area, and... Um, we're going to take a look at your uterus and your ovaries. On your order, I saw that you were coming here for fibroids. Do you have a history of those? Yeah, I've had them for probably about 10 years. And I just have to go to the bathroom all the time. Um, and it's more often than more than I would like to be going. So my doctor wanted to come here and get them checked out. They run in the family. I know my mom has them. My sister has them. You know, so I'm sure I have them too. Um, okay, you do? Okay. Okay. No problem. Um, so you did drink your water. Okay. No problem. So I'll get, I'll get dressed. Are you going to leave out the room? No. Okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Um, I'm kind of shy. Sorry. It's okay. No worries. No worries. No biggie. Um, just do what you got to do, I guess. Ma'am, I'm, I'm really going to need you to let me lower your pants down. Okay, no worries. No worries. Can I pull your shirt up a little bit more? Mm, do you have to? Okay, no worries. Okay, go ahead. Do what you got to do. Um, Is there... Oh, there's a part two to this? There is? Okay. What does that consist of? A probe going where? In my vagina? Oh, Lord. So did you see everything that you were supposed to see from above? Oh, there's a part two? Really? Okay. What? What's the part two? That probe has to go inside where? My vagina? Are you sure? Okay. If Did the doctor order that? She did? So you didn't see something and then have to do that. Does everybody get that ultrasound done through the vagina? They do. So it's normal. Okay. So they go above first and then they go inside to take a look. Why do they go inside? Oh, it brings the uterus and ovaries up closer. Okay. No biggie. Let's do this. I'm on my period. Is that okay? It is? Are you sure? Oh, I'm a heavy bleeder. No, it's not a problem. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom first? Oh, thank gosh. I really have to go to the bathroom. Um, okay, I'll be back. Is it right over here? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so I just put this blanket over me like this and lay down, huh? Okay. Sit on this pillow. What does the pillow do? It raises my hips up so you could move the probe around better. Got it. Okay, let's do this. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I've never had this done before. Is it going to hurt? No, it shouldn't. But you know, when I have sex, it, it kind of hurts. So that that's big. That's like bigger than him. Oh my gosh. 
Does it vibrate? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I haven't had like sex in forever. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. It's okay. It, it okay. No problem. Let's do this. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. All right. So, do you have a wipe? This stuff get is like everywhere. Oh yeah, no worries. No worries at all. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for doing that exam for me. And if oh you didn't you didn't drink your water. No one told me I had to drink water. Okay, yeah, because no one told me and I took off time for work and oh, they didn't tell you? You didn't? Okay. Uh, well, they do call every patient, you know, prior to their exam the day before to confirm and tell them the instructions of the exam. No one called you? Okay, no worries, no worries. Um, we're just going to have to reschedule because I need you on a full bladder. Gosh, this is a huge inconvenience for me. Like, this is ridiculous. Do you have a manager I can speak with? I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is an inconvenience, but unfortunately, I can't do a pelvic exam thoroughly unless I have a few on a full bladder. So, this is how it works. I'm gonna send you out there, you're gonna reschedule. So just say, for instance, they give you an appointment at 10 o'clock. I need you to drink your water by nine o'clock. That's 32 to 40 ounces of water. It could be water, coffee, juice. I don't care. It could be wine. I don't care. I just need you on a full bladder. And it, once you have, all, you know, once you have your full bladder, you'd be done drinking all that by nine o'clock. And your appointment's at ten. You got to hold it that whole hour prior to your exam. So I need you to be done by nine. Your appointment's at ten. And when you get to my room, you'll be ready, set to go. Is that okay? Okay, great. And I'm sorry. I am so sorry that, you know, they didn't call you. They didn't instruct you of what to do. But I will give you your order back and your instructions are on the back of the sheet. Okay? All right. So my doctor told me something about water, but I really wasn't paying attention. I thought I had to fast for this exam. Okay. No worries. All right. Let's do this. So I have to reschedule and... If my appointment's at 10, I got to stop drinking water by 9 o'clock and hold it for that whole hour. Yeah. Whew. That's going to be a lot. I don't know. I have a small bladder. I don't know if I could do that. Like, that's why I'm coming for incontinence. Like, I'm peeing all the time. So, I don't know. Um, I'll try, though. I will try. Thank you. Thank you. Have a Have a good day. Have a good day. Oh, I gotta use the restroom. Oh my goodness. Are we, you know, can we get this show on the road? You gotta take my information down first. Can I, can we get this show on the road? Cause I really have to use the restroom. Okay, yeah, no, no worries. Um, gosh, I drunk this whole thing just now in the waiting room and I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, let's do this. Like, I really gotta go. You gotta take my information down first? Okay. Okay, no worries. Go ahead. Ask the questions. Do I need to get undressed or is there a gown I need to put on? No? Okay. Even better. Um, let's, let's do this. Whew. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean my bladder's empty? But I drank that whole thing just now. <sighs> it's going to take an hour to get to my bladder. Are you sure? Are you sure it's going to take an hour to get to my bladder? And I just drunk this whole thing in the waiting room. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll reschedule. No one told me. Oh, this is not fun. Okay. Well, you guys, that is going to do it for this video. I really hope you thought it was funny and serious at the same time because these are the type of patients we deal with with pelvics and this is just like the tip of the iceberg but you will get a plethora of more so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video just coming from you raw trying to give you insight of what how patients act and how they you know 
will respond to what you're saying and the whole shebang. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. But I have a huge announcement. I hit a thousand subscribers over here on YouTube and I also hit a thousand subscribers over on Instagram. So I am doing a giveaway. And the giveaway is some trinkets that I found like special while I was on this journey for ultrasound as well as my merch. Ah, I'm so excited. I love this. I'm always telling you guys to have confidence. Ultrasound is confidence and that's what this says. Sonography, confidence. And oh, I'm just so excited over my stuff. So this is what I'll be gifting you guys to a lucky subscriber. What's up guys? I just wanted to give you some information about my giveaway. To enter, you have to be subscribed here on my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. Remember, you have to comment the special word from this video down in the comments or DM me over on Instagram and that will enter you as well as following me on Instagram and also subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. And the giveaway actually will close next Saturday. I will be drawing a winner then. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for all the love that you give to me. I can't even thank you enough. Thank you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.